Hello, my name is Lorenzo and in this video I'll show you how to create an event that has multiple pricing options. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and drop in some event details and let's take a look. So for this example, let's say that we are planning a charity dinner which has different pricing for adults and children. The date that for the dinner it will be September 15th from 6 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. and we have a limit of up to 50 guests. And then we have the pricing. So for adults, it's 35, and then for children, it is 20. So this is basically a roadmap for this event, and we can go ahead and start entering in our details. So we'll say that this is a charity dinner, and then let's scroll down and take a look at that date time. Okay, so the event will be on September 15th, so let's go ahead and use the picker and go to the 15th and we know that it starts on at 6 p.m. so we'll select that and then we need to also select the 15th and then it ends at 7:30. so we've selected 7 and then 30 and that's good and next what we need to do is add in a limit so we can have up to 50 total guests and from this point we can actually work on the pricing options so let's add in the adult dinner and we want this to wrap or, or actually close out the day before the dinner so we can actually plan accordingly then the price will be 35 we're going to pull this limit here and now we need a pricing option for the kids so what we'll do is duplicate and then update some of the details all right, so the pricing is now 20. All right, so those details look good. So what I will do is scroll up and click on the Save Draft button, which will save the event. And then let's take a look at it on the front end. So I'll go ahead and follow that link. And now we can see the pricing options for the event. So remember that this is a charity dinner. We can have up to 50 guests attend and then we have pricing for adults and then pricing for children. So now that we know that the details are correct, the next step would be to go ahead and update the event description, add a featured image, and then of course connect the venue. So that's it for an example of how to create an event that has multiple pricing options. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for looking.